Gracias. Eddie J here. I wanted to discuss uh, some of the backstory about the robot that I made. So it started off, I was uh, chatting with the CEO of this company called Task Easy. What they specialize in, uh, they do uh, landscaping services. And uh, so they do a lot of uh, mowing lawns. And what I was saying to him was that I thought he could automate a small portion of his business. Now, I was just talking about some of the software side. Uh, I was kind of annoyed with the amount of emails I was getting. I was like, ah, oh, a machine could do this. He assumed that I was talking about uh, robots. And ever since that time, I started thinking, oh, maybe it is possible to create a, a robot that mows lawns. Now, anytime we automate a new process, it's important that we consider if it's going to hurt anyone. So right away I was thinking about, all right, there's a lot of people that mow lawns uh, as a career. So need to offer uh, education uh, so people can learn new skills and also provide uh, more complex job opportunities. So right now the there are robots that can mow lawns, but they're not very smart. They, uh, they're basically blind, so they have touch sensors uh, like a Roomba would, and they just go randomly until they bump into something, turn a little bit, go some more until they bump into something else, and they just keep doing that over and over. Uh, one of the major problems with the robot lawnmowers currently available, uh, besides price, is that uh, they're incredibly expensive to to install because if you think uh, how do you keep the robot from driving out into the street how they saw this now is they put down a wire around the perimeter of the house and then the robot knows oh there's something under the ground that's conductive and I should not you know go past this and so if we were able to add a camera uh, to a robot like this it would give it vision and so it would be able to avoid obstacles and it would also have a greater understanding of its surroundings. So lawnmowers are already using a lot of machinery. Really the, the last component that has yet to be automated is the, the control and the, the watching. So there's another YouTuber that's using Grand Theft Auto and he's just driving around inside the game uh, with this machine model. And so I thought I would take the same idea of using this virtual world and collecting data in a way that uh, doesn't require me to charge batteries every 30 minutes or so, so I can collect more data in a less amount of time. And I can also collect data in, in different environments, such as like nighttime, um, on hills, uh, just things that I wouldn't have access to in the real world as easily as I would in a virtual world. And so I was able to kind of speed up the um, period in which I can collect data. What, what I find really exciting about this technology is that um, we can potentially cut down the cost of some of the more basic tasks of mowing a lawn. So you think of people that are disabled that may not be able to afford uh, the high cost of having their lawn mowed now. Uh, with this new technology, um, these people would be able to uh, take care of those landscaping needs. And beyond that, uh, just in general, if workers are displaced from mowing lawns and there's a plan in place to elevate them into more complicated tasks, then the world around us we can shape it and make it more beautiful. Um, a bigger platform could support larger batteries and it could also support uh, an actual motor and a mechanism to uh, actually cut the lawn. Whereas now the current robot is just moving around. And likewise in the virtual environment, Grand Theft Auto doesn't actually let you cut any lawn. So I'm just simulating cutting lawn, just driving over lawns. <laughs> so that's all I have for you today. If you like this style of content and you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button. Also, 
click that like button, helps me out a lot. Make sure to check out my website, link is in the description as always. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to all my supporters.